It's new tech season. Apple has just dropped the new iPhone 16s. Here's Pro models deliver breakthrough innovation and incredible new capabilities in this gorgeous design. The question is, should you upgrade? Well, today I'm giving you my five reasons why I'm sticking with my iPhone 15 Pro and not upgrading to the iPhone 16 Pro. But spoiler alert, if you're using an older iPhone, then this year's upgrade might just blow your mind. Let's get into it. All right, let's break down what's new with the iPhone. We're talking- The next generation of iPhone has been designed for Apple intelligence from the ground up. The new camera control button, a new 48 megapixel ultra wide camera, the ability to do 4K 120 FPS Dolby Vision, thinner bezels, a new smaller 6.3 inch size screen, the new A18 Pro chip, and the new color, which is desert titanium, which replaces the blue titanium of the previous year's iteration, the iPhone 15 Pro, which I've got here. Those features sound amazing, right? But, and this is a big but, and I'm still not biting on the bandwagon of iPhone 16 Pro, and here's why. I have an iPhone 15 Pro, but I hear you're asking why specifically? Reason number one that I'm staying loyal to my iPhone 15 Pro is because I take a lot of photos and videos with this iPhone and the camera is still a straight up monster. I mean, just look at these shots. The 48 megapixel main camera in last year's edition of Pro Raw giving you more control and customization about how your finished photo looks. It's already delivering crazy detail and color. Sure, the iPhone 16 Pro has a new 48 megapixel ultra wide camera, Dolby Vision up to 4K at 120 frames per second, and the latest generation photographic styles. But unless you're shooting at an expert level, and if you are, then you probably also got a dedicated DSLR camera, then the iPhone 15 Pro's camera is more than enough for every day and at least pro level photography. Reason two, performance. The A17 Pro chip in this phone is already a speed demon from intense gaming to editing 4K videos in LumaFusion on the go. This thing handles it like a champ and I haven't once felt like it's slowing me down. The iPhone 16 Pro does come with a new A18 Pro chip, but let's be real, unless you're doing some hardcore pro level tasks every single day, then the extra horsepower isn't gonna even be noticeable in daily use. Now let's talk about design, which is reason free on not switching. The design changes on the iPhone 16 Pro are minimal. Both phones have that titanium frame and honestly, both are still premium in hand. The only thing I probably would change is that that titanium design, it's such a fingerprint magnet, which they have improved in the iPhone 16 Pro. But generally those 16 Pro tweaks are like the bigger standard screen size, a tougher ceramic shield front, slightly higher pixel resolution. They aren't game changing. Just imagine this is the iPhone 16 Pro and this is the iPhone 15. I'm looking at it and going, hmm, ooh. Still, still good. Reason four, and this is a big one, battery life. The iPhone 16 Pro has slight battery improvements such as up to 27 hours video playback, 22 hours streamed video playback, and up to 85 hours audio playback. But guess what? The iPhone 15 Pro already delivers amazing all day battery life. And to most people in the age of a powerful smartphone, having at least an all day battery life is the least I expect from my phone. And if it's doing that, like the 15 Pro already does, then that's fine. Reason five, cost. Let's talk about dollars and pounds here. The iPhone 16 Pro is brand new and the price, well, let's just say it's not cheap. We're talking a thousand dollars or pounds for a phone that's only marginally better than my 15 Pro, which I only bought 12 months ago. That's right, this phone is still practically newish and it's gonna be supported by Apple's updates to iOS for a number of years to come. And guess what? My iPhone 15 Pro is still running flawlessly. The performance, battery life, camera, it's still all top tier. I mean, why drop a thousand pounds when the phone in my hand is still barely out of its box? Should I get a new phone? Should I get a new phone? Hmm. Should... Unless you really need the latest and greatest gear every year, which in an ideal world, I'd love to. Sticking with a phone that I've already got or that you've already got and is working perfectly fine makes a lot of sense. 
So after all that, the iPhone 16 Pro is impressive, no doubt about that. And it probably is the best iPhone that Apple have ever made. And if you're coming from an older iPhone, maybe an iPhone 12 or 13, the upgrade could be a great leap forward. You'll benefit from the upgraded cameras, titanium design, and the support for Apple intelligence, which, mainly is coming soon. But for us iPhone 15 Pro users, the leap for me just doesn't feel that massive. Apple really delivered last year, particularly with that inclusion of USB-C, and the iPhone 15 Pro still feels incredibly powerful and future-proof. So yeah, I'm sticking with the 15 Pro for now. But what do you think? Is the iPhone 16 Pro tempting enough for an upgrade or are you rolling with your current setup? Let me know in the comments below because I wanna hear your thoughts. And while you're down there, don't forget to smash that like button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe if you haven't already. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one.